Hey what's up, it's Comic Curls, and I know I look really crazy right now. I'm actually getting ready to go take a shower, and I'm going to wash my hair and use rice water for the first time in a very long time. So as I mentioned in my previous video, my hair has become very, very damaged, and I bleached the crap out of it, I dyed it several times because I made mistakes, etc. But I really wanted to record my hair before so that you guys can like see how broken the pieces are. I'm gonna show you guys in some other videos too, but just so you can see what I'm working with. But I also wanted to show you guys, since yesterday, I swear, I just recorded a video yesterday, my hair like grew overnight. I can tell because my real hair is black and obviously I've dyed it like a brownish, blondish like color, and I can actually visibly see my roots on camera today. Like before, I couldn't really see that, and you're gonna have to excuse me, I have a uh, dermatitis, sebaceous dermatitis, whatever it's called, um, on my scalp, so it looks like I have bad dandruff. But And that's something that I plan to try out on this channel, because I have used apple cider vinegar before, which did help, but I've never been able to completely cure that. So look at that, that's amazing. So I haven't used the rice water yet, so I wanted to make sure that I make it clear that this is not from rice water or anything. I know that of course your hair naturally grows every month, throughout each month, it grows about half an inch. But I've never been able to like really see any real growth since my hair has been breaking off, which has been since like about November-ish. So you're going to have to excuse my bad skin, I'm not wearing makeup or anything, but I wanted to show you the back of my hair as well. So I apologize in advance if you cannot hear me or if you cannot see my hair, but I just wanted you to see like, look at that, how broken it is in the back. Like this is nothing, there's no hair there, it's bald. No hair, no hair. But this is what my hair looks like to start off with. So, so anyway, I'm going to get ready to go take my shower, but before I take my shower, I want to show you guys what products I'm going to be using in my hair so that you can have an idea as to what else I'm using to aid me in using the rice water. So of course, before I can use the actual rice water, I'm going to have to wash and condition my hair. And I recently bought this hair recipe, almond oil and vanilla shampoo and conditioner. It smells amazing, you guys. It's a smoothing shampoo, but it's also moisturizing. Um, I really bought this because like I said, my hair is actually relaxed. I have 3B3C hair and I like to have it straight. So I wanted something that makes it easier to straighten my hair. So of course I bought a smoothing shampoo. I had no idea that my hair was gonna become even more damaged and that I was going to stupidly break it off by not only bleaching it once, but <laughs> leaving it on for a really long time and then dyeing my hair like I think either three or four times back to back and then relaxing it all in just 48 hours. I was a total, might have been less than 48 hours. I was a total idiot. So anyway, long story short, I love these two. They smell amazing. Again, this is hair recipe, um, shampoo and conditioner. This is their smoothing shampoo. Um, what else? Yeah, I guess that's kind of it. It's almond, almond oil and vanilla, which I love. And then of course, to show you guys my rice water, um, I'll have other videos showing all of this stuff, but I keep it inside of this little container thingy. I like this. I got it from Daiso. It says, good day sunshine, special favorite, weird English. You gotta love Japan. But I really like shaking this. I'm always afraid I'm gonna get it on myself, but I just let this sit overnight in my bathtub. And then after I'm done applying the rice water, um, I like to top it off with L'Oreal's um, Extraordinary Oil. Excuse, it has like hair and stuff on it. But I love using this oil stuff throughout my hair. It's very lightweight, smells great. And for my actual scalp and my tips, I also like to top it with some sweet almond oil as well. I buy mine from Family Mart, but you can get it from pretty much anywhere. It smells really great and it works really good on your scalp too. And it's great um, for straightening your hair. I use it as a heat protectant, although it's probably not supposed to. But it keeps my curly hair from becoming frizzy and it makes it straight like right away. Because for me, when I straighten my hair, it's frizzy for the first few days until it gets dirty and then it can hold the heat and curls too. So that's that. 
So yeah, um, anyway, let me go ahead and take that shower. I'm not sure if I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to look afterwards. I would like to though, but this feels really weird. I can actually see the growth, you guys. And I literally just dyed my hair a week ago. It was perfectly dyed in bleach for there were no roots showing. And now, yeah, I can kind of see it all throughout my hair. So it's good to know that I'm making some progress. Or I guess not everywhere, but <laughs> for the most part. So yeah, I can't wait to share more on my journey, so I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I just finished washing my hair, so I'm going to add the hair recipe, um, almond oil and vanilla smooth treatment, the conditioner, I will now be adding to my hair. So I wanted to kind of show you guys um, also the breakage that I experienced. This is my conditioner brush that I buy from Daiso. I don't know if this exists in America. I think it does. I love this to death and especially with my hair being, you know, so broken and damaged. This most certainly does help me not lose as much hair. Of course, I'm going to lose a lot of hair because as I said, my hair is very weak and damaged to the point where if I like touch it, it just falls out. Um, Obviously with it being wet, it's even weaker right now. So you're gonna see a lot of hair come out of my head, but trust me, it normally is not <laughs> this bad when you know my hair isn't damaged like how it is right now. So anyway, let me give myself a few pumps of this. But I love the consistency and it smells so good, you guys. I absolutely love the smell of oil, I mean oil, <laughs> well that too. I love the smell of almond oil and I love the smell of vanilla as well perfect pair and I wasn't even looking for a shampoo and conditioner I was just supposed to be buying bleach and hair dye but I was like oh my god my two favorite scents in a bottle and the container looked nice so I was like I have to buy this so because my hair is so damaged and it actually feels really bad near the roots of my hair I'm going to be applying conditioner kind of close if not on my scalp which I'm not really trying to do but you understand my situation hopefully and I definitely need some in the back of my hair because that is definitely the most damaged and driest part. But yeah, I like this. It, it feels so nice, the bristles on your scalp. And yeah, I'm actually not losing as much hair as I thought I was going to. So I'm doing better. I guess I've pretty much pulled out all the really weak hair at this point. So like I dyed my hair, I want to say like a, a little over a week ago. So I think two weeks ago now. Yes, yeah, been I think two weeks. But it's going right through my hair, smoothing it out, no tangles. The shampoo conditioner works great, you guys. Like normally when I'm done washing my hair, my hair like looks kind of curly or whatever, but my hair is relaxed, so it should be somewhat straight. Um, but with this, it literally like smooths it out. It feels like I just freshly relaxed it. But I'd highly recommend this. No, I'm not being paid by them to say this. I authentically like the product. And it makes a great um, deep conditioner as well, which is what I plan to do. So, yep, yep, yep. But it's so fun just to brush this throughout your hair. But it does a great job distributing all of the conditioner so you can make sure you get all of your hair. And it feels really nice on your scalp. So I'm just conditioning my hair to prepare it for the rice water because as you know, it's pretty harsh. I feel like it has something on my eye. Is there a hair there? Okay, yeah, I think there was. <laughs> so as I've said before, I know this is gonna freak you guys out, but I personally leave the rice water in my hair. I don't rinse it out, I leave it in there um, until the next day. And then I rinse and just add more, you know, rice water, coconut oil, whatever to my hair and I slap a wig on. So I'm waiting on my wig to get here. I stupidly threw away my extensions and wigs that I had, except for the black extensions that don't match my hair. Um, but I threw away my nicer wigs and weaves because I have OCD and I don't like keeping stuff for more than a year and a lot of other reasons, but <laughs> it was old and it was time to get rid of it. So 
I'm waiting on my newer, hopefully nicer one to get here to protect my hair. So for now, I'll just be wearing my hair back in a bun and using the coconut oil and almond oil and the L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil to cover up the scent of the rice water. Trust me, I know my hair, you guys. Despite it being damaged right now, my hair needs protein and it can take a lot of it. I used rice water for like a month and a half, I think. Um, using it every single day and my hair was just fine. It actually grew very fast. So I'm going to try it out again with even more damaged hair this time, as I've said before. Okay, so not to gross you guys out, but I just want to show you how much hair I lost. This is nothing compared to what I normally lose, though. This is not the shampoo's fault. This is my fault from it being damaged. But this is about how much hair I lost. This looks nice, actually, because I normally lose way more hair than this. Normally, this brush would be full of hair. But that's all that came out. I'm actually really surprised. You should have seen my hair when I first finished, but... Even just looking at my scalp right now, I'm like, wow, my hair is so thin, like it's balding and really short and just super damaged. I want to like turn so you guys can see the back of my head, hopefully. Let's see if that'll work out. But yeah, like my hair is not supposed to be this short. Like look at how short it is in the middle. This is not normal for me. But okay, <laughs> let me go ahead and stop playing with my hair and let it sit for a minute. I might put a bag over it while I wait and then I will rinse this out and then, um, you know, I'm kind of already done detangling my hair, but I might brush it through again and then I'll add the rice water, pull it back into a bun and I am set for the day. Okay, so now I'm done conditioning my hair. I've rinsed everything out and I have detangled my hair. So now... I'm going to add the rice water to my damp hair. I'm going to put it in my scalp and throughout my hair. And once I'm done, I'm going to be adding this coconut oil to my hair as well. Um, I boil water over the stove and I just sit this jar directly into the pot. This is pure um, coconut oil, so it's solid um, when it's in its raw state. You can't just put some in your hand and mush it around and the warmth of your hand will, you know, melt it or whatever. And you don't even have to do that, like, you know. Um, as far as putting it on the stove goes, like I said, you could just put it in your hand, but I prefer to do it this way. I feel like it applies better to your hair. A lot of people don't like coconut oil, but I swear it works wonders. It does a great job um, as a sealant and to moisturize your hair. I know nowadays everyone's all specific and they're like, coconut oil or any type of oil isn't a moisturizer, only water is. Hush. So, <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put that to obviously cover up the smell since I'm gonna be leaving this in my hair I don't want to go around smelling like stank booty all day. So now to get to it. Where's my spray bottle? Don't tell me I left my rice water Crap, I'll be right back you guys. I forgot the most important thing Okay, sorry about that now. I'm back and I have my rice water So all I do is I pour um, from the container into this you have to be very careful because obviously you could spill it everywhere um, this is a, you know, bed head, like, hairstyler that you can buy from Daiso. Again, I live in Japan, and even, like, what, um, my coconut oil, this is irrelevant, but I forgot to tell you guys, this isn't completely liquidy as it should be. Normally, it wouldn't be so cloudy, but I've had it sitting like that for a couple of days. I live in Japan, and it's very hot and warm here, so even with it staying inside my house, it doesn't become a solid until a few days, so it is a little bit chunky, and I could have warmed it up better, but I'll be fine. Um, anyway, my wig should be here any day now, especially since I ordered mine. I normally buy them from within Japan, but this one was really nice and it was very cheap from China. So, waiting on that to get here. Fingers crossed that the wig is going to be good. So, let me spray this into my hair and remove these loose strands. But, <clears throat> I should probably take off this label so I don't confuse you guys, but it makes it easy for me to remember that this spray bottle has hair stuff in it and that it's for my hair and not like some type of natural cleaning agent that I use around the house. So, anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna spray it in my scalp, spray it throughout my hair, brush it through. Once again, I do not advise that you copy off of me. I'm just telling and showing you guys what I really do. Normally, you should not put rice water in your hair every day. And you may or may not like the smell of coconut oil. And for some people, it makes their hair, you know, hard, whatever, unmanageable. For me, it works perfect. Um, I have high porosity, 3B, 3C hair, maybe more on a 3B side. Um, <clears throat> so, let's spray my hair and stop talking <laughs> maybe I should open the spray bottle first 
There we go. <laughs> it's really messy and runny. A lot of people complain about the smell of rice water, but to be honest, I'm not really bothered by it so much. I actually got it on my face. That's gonna happen a lot. That's what she said. It doesn't smell good, but it's not unbearable. Oh, and I let my rice water sit for a day, but I leave it out like that until it runs out. I don't refrigerate it. I don't dump it after however many days. I just leave it as is. The worse it smells, the better it is for your hair, if you ask me. Okay, so I think I've done a good enough job. Just gonna brush it through the rice water using the conditioning brush. And while my hair is still damp, I personally pull it back into a loose bun and I just wear it, not a bun, but like I braid it into a bun, I should say. And I wear it in the back. And I just plop a wig over it. But like I said, I'm going to be at home for the next few days. Took some time off from work. So I'll just be waiting on my wig to get here. But normally I wear my wig over it. Which also helps, obviously, with the rice water. Because like I know normally you wear like a shower cap or something and leave it on your head for like 30, 40 minutes. People do it for different periods of time. For me, that's my wig that does that job for me. And I go to sleep on it like this, so I wear it like this all day. So I'm going to go get a hair tie. And then, cause my hair is so broken and short this time around, like look at how short it is, you guys, and how damaged it is. I'm just gonna twist it, I guess, cause I probably can't even braid it and leave it like that, so, yeah. Okay, so I got my brown hair tie. I'm just gonna grab my hair. Oh, see, I'm missing a step, you guys. I'm being clumsy. Forgot to add the coconut oil. It's the important part, right? So my hair is still damp, obviously, for two reasons, from both the water and the rice water, but I'm literally just gonna pour a glob of this on my hand and rub it throughout my hair. So I have, you can't really see without it running. <laughs> There's no way for me to show you guys how much I used. I used about maybe like a teaspoon of coconut oil. I'm gonna probably get a little bit more because I really wanna make sure I get my ends. And again, for other people, you might be like, oh, this is too much product. But again, I'm showing you guys what works for me and what I like to do. Everybody's hair is different. This is my journey. But yeah, this is sad, you guys. Like, look at my little struggle pony. Now that's what you call a struggle pony. Look at how tiny it is. I cannot believe how damaged and short my hair became. I know I'm going to do it for other videos too, but I might also insert some pictures showing what my old hair looks like. And if I don't, you guys can check out my other videos to see what my hair used to look like. And if you haven't already, you can also check out my main channel, Comic95 The Savior, to see what my hair normally looks like on a day-to-day -day basis. 
Um, don't be fooled though because I've been wearing, you know, wigs and extensions recently. So you want to look back at an old video to see my real hair. I'm very new to wearing weaves and wigs, so I feel very self-conscious with this. I used to kind of look down on people that did and I didn't understand it. But now that I'm bald-headed, I totally get it. <laughs> so, of course, I think you should be comfortable with whatever your hair length is. But it's really hard to go from having long hair or medium length hair to having hair that's very short. Like, I used to not have to think about ponytails. I used to want my hair to be long or longer, even with long hair. And now that my hair is really legitimately short, now I feel like I'm having a heart attack. So, whatever you do, do not be like me. Don't bleach, dye, and perm your hair several times within two days. And do not stretch your relaxer for too long if you have um, 3B hair. Because it cannot take it, girl. Because my hair, it's a mess now. This all started for me being lazy and not relaxing my hair. I was relaxing it every month and it was just fine. Look, it's so short. I can't even braid it, you guys. I had to make a little dookie ball twist. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I'm all done. I'm going to be wearing my hair like this for now. Excuse my dirty towel, by the way. I forgot to explain in this video. But I use the same towels that I used to dye and bleach my hair um, for when I wash it when I have rice water in my hair so I make sure I don't damage them or anything even although rice water should not be damaging to it but because my hair has been bleached and dyed I'm afraid of like the dye getting off of my other stuff most of my towels are white so I don't want to ruin any you know good towels that have not been damaged already um, but anyway what was I going to say to you guys I guess that's kind of it let me close this coconut oil before I forget so there's different products you can use um, everyone does rice water totally different. I wanted to do something different and kind of show you guys my journey. Um, people normally show you like the aftermath of using rice water, people that already had long hair. And while my hair isn't short, um, I want to see if it can actually help regrow my hair. I've been struggling to grow my hair now for you know over six months. My hair has been damaged since November. At the time of filming this video, it is now the end of May. So. Um, the end of May of 2019 and my hair has been damaged since November of 2018 is when it first started to break off. I cut it on my birthday in December last year and ever since then it's, it's been breaking off at either the same rate or a faster rate that it's been growing so I haven't really seen much growth. In fact my hair is shorter now <laughs> than it was when I cut it back then because now it's broken more for me bleaching and dyeing it. So. We will see. So anyway, um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, found it helpful, please like, comment, um, and subscribe to Comic Curls. I also highly recommend that you check out my main YouTube channel, Comic95 The Savior, and subscribe there. I give advice, tips, and information on dating and life in Japan, and I upload vlogs, videos, just giving my two cents, showing my day-to-day -day life, and I make journals, talking about what's going on, etc. Um, so yeah, and excuse me because I'll switch between calling myself Comic 95 Savior and Comic Curls. It gets confusing, you guys. It took me a long time to remember Comic 95 the Savior. So <laughs> anyway, long story short, thank you so much for watching my long ranty video. And I hope to come back soon with longer hair. We'll see what progress takes place. I cannot wait. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Oh, before I forget, I'm so sorry. I want to show you guys what my little struggle bun looks like in the back. So look, even this little piece of hair is hanging out. <laughs> so this is my finished result. That is my struggle bun that I will be wearing um, underneath my wigs for the duration of my hair regrowth process. Okay, and now that I've shown you my hair, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Oh, and you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I have a Snapchat and Facebook page as well. All of my social media accounts are in the description as well as at the end of this video. Thank you. Goodbye.